everybody. What's up, guys? Mr. Big Bag over here. Mr. Bag. Big Bag. Big Bag. Okay, sorry. You know what I'm saying? Like, why did I say Big Bag? Mr. Bag. You shouldn't even that big or something? Anyway. Frank the Dishwasher, Tony Trap Guy. What'd you say? Frank the Dishwasher, Tony Trap Guy. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Anyway. What are you talking about? I don't know. We'll okay, get ketchup. Be right, be right back. Alright. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Why don't you ketchup? Hmm? 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 It's a hard life, man. It's a struggle. Anywho, my friend and I used to work in a rough, 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 rough job. Okay, it was called Churches. Churches fucking chicken. Yep. It was the worst job ever. Working like slaves, doing double hours, doing manual labor. Pretty much, we were the working horses there. We got treated like shit. Well, not not really. He was the baby. I was the uh, baby. He was the he was the lucky child. And I was the ugly duckling. I said, "What is all that?" But he got treated better. Cause anyway, when he used to come work, they like Ryan, get your friend, tell him, cause or else he's fired. He's fired. What happened? Came in. Oh my God, Carl, we're so happy to see you. We're safe. We're safe. And what happened when I came in? Ryan, why the fuck are you so early? Oh my God, you guys told him to come in early. We don't need you 20 minutes early. We need you on the dot. And what happened? Came on the dot. I still got yelled at. Yeah, that was the truth. I even got yelled at when I was even there. No, he's not lying. But he's the witness. One time I just went in there to just grab a quick bite. And you know what he told me? Why you burn the mashed potatoes, right? And I wasn't even there. Okay. It's a shame, shame, shame. Where were the managers? Hmm? Like, what, what, ethnicity, whatever the fuck you say. Oh. Well, they were Indians, you know? It was run by Indian people. So, like... Pretty much, blah, 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 blah. Um, I, 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 I'm not trying to say anything about... Indians, mm-hmm. but they don't know how to talk to people, bro. Some of them, not all of them. Some of them got a heart. Mm-hmm. Some of them, some of them don't. Mm-hmm. Um, no. I don't know. Man. See, when you work in a fast food restaurant, they expect a lot from you. And I know people out there work in fast food restaurants. Mm-hmm. Some make a great living out of it. You know, some survive off it. Others, this news is not saying it doesn't go that well for them. I'm not okay. saying it's bad, but it depends how you manage your money and depends how you use it. Yeah, I was going to say that. But you see, like us, we were balling! We, bro, I'm telling you, we're like 2K, bro. Like, we were out there. And I. Like, pretty much, so we had the money all to ourselves and we spent it. Nope, you spend fuck out of it. Spend every single dime, dollar, penny, quarter, you, you name it, we spent it. But like nothing. Those are the past. Yeah, past days. And these past. are this is the present, and then later on is the future. You said it, but yeah. Now anyway, let's just like you know, working in church wasn't that bad at all. You know, we had some fun times. We messed with the customers. We hit each other with wet towels. It was pretty fun. We locked each other in the freezers. We did Squidward pranks, Elmo, talking to the, uh, the headset. It was fun, you know. It was we, fun. We had we had a great times. So we even made our bosses laugh a lot. Even their dicks to us, but we so made them laugh. Yeah. Now anyway, there was this We're one boss. People. Who was that one boss? Her name was Zabina, but we all we called her Zab Zab for short. <laughs> Let me tell you something. She was a bitch. A straight up bitch. I'm not trying to be mean or nothing, but I'm just being dead serious. Because you see, we would work 
and butt the soft. Facts, bro. And you see, we all we asked from her was be treated with respect and kindness. No, what she did to you, she didn't tell you like a person. She just barked at you like if you were a dog. Mm -hmm. Like if she was the dominant one and you pretty much was the weak one. That's kind of like how all of them feel. That's actually, I'm sure I'm try. You see, but him and I, see that cool mustache? I'm pretty good though, it's fashionable. Man. It's fashionable. Anyway. We weren't the guys that got treated like yeah. that. We weren't the ones who won our asses handed and made fun of. No. We fought back and we stood up for ourselves. Because we weren't the ones that you could fucking make up a little white lie and have a happy mm -hmm. smile on her face. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It doesn't roll like that. Mm -mm. We fought back and told her to suck it. That's what we did. You see? You see it? You see it? The X all the way, man. We did that shit at the same time and planned that shit. That was perfect. Lit. And you see... After he left, I had to hold the ball. I had to carry the ball. I had to carry the load. I had to work day in and day out. I did, I did double shifts every day. And I'm not lying. I text him every time. He'd say, you want to come over? I'm like, no, I'm too tired. Hell, that one time he picked me up, I was asleep in the car. You was sleeping on the table when he got home. I mean, you were falling asleep anyway. I was exhausted, man. I was stressed out. I didn't like going to work no more. I was cheating with respect. Every day, I did the same damn thing. I mean, Every single day. No they, days off. They blame me for some shit. They blame me. Our aspirin was a day off or two. He you got, know what they said? Nothing. While yeah. everyone else pretty much had all their days off. They're like, hey, can we have a day off? Sure, sure, it's okay. Have your little day off. What happened? Oh, hey, can I have a day off? No, Ron, you still have to work. You're still on the clock. They didn't do me like that, though. No. I would not go. No. Mm -mm. Oh. They have a hair in it? Oh, I'm still in checkers, bro. Dude, I'm Last one, looking good unless you have fucking hair in your shit. Man. That's true, man. I killed it. You used to work at Checkers. Oh, yeah. Why don't you tell us, why don't you tell them the experience about it? It was pretty fucking, um, boring. It was hard. Mm -hmm. The work was hard, like what you got to do and stuff, but mm -hmm. other than that, it was really boring because like every other like 30 minutes we had a customer. So it was, yeah. I, I walked to this checkers on Buford. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And where was it nearby? A shirt club. Oh. And like, it was like homeless people everywhere and shit, you know, and it, it, yeah, so they wouldn't come. Checkers is pretty expensive, like to some people that don't have money. It's, and I accept that they have those meals, those deals, meals. Mm -hmm. You get those deals, then <coughs> you see? Mm -hmm. throw the, hey, bro, they didn't give us a funnel, a funnel cake, bro. We have a funnel cake. <laughs> That's a four dollar meal. We no, dude. That's just three things. A drink. That's four. What train you bought that at the gas station? We got here. Some goddamn Mexican candy. And I'm even Mexican. It's like some ghetto ass Mexican candy, but I don't know. pretty good. <laughs> anyway, pretty much we're just two guys having good times, making jokes. Sure, we're making fun of people here and there, but that's just us. We do things that. I don't give a fuck. You really don't. <laughs> Hell, you even flipped off a cop. I got him. He yeah. has. Hey, see, one day, a cop didn't take that that kindly, so Mr. Tony over here had a little word with Mr. Pony. See ya. And what did he tell you? He said I was dumb and that I should have listened to my wiser friends over here, but um, we're all in the same oh. levelness of. Intelligence. Bubble brain shit. You see. That we, yeah. It was kind of funny when you said that. <laughs> you see, because me, I, I, I completed I high know. school, but I didn't finish. I, I didn't get my diploma. He, um. Dropped out and worked. Just like him. Yeah. Well, taking not dropping out, but he didn't go back to school. I think that's <laughs> dropping out. Yeah, it's still dropping out. Yeah, I think it's dropping out. And our other friends, well, um. You're gonna be there for about I don't know maybe twenty more years or so. Mm -hmm. The other ones, yeah, they've been in high school for like what six, seven years. <laughs> yep, they already have kids and they're already off to college. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Finish that. Huh? 
But yeah, pretty much. Yeah, the kids are in college. His their kids are in college and shit, and um, they're still in high school. So. Yep, it's sad. It's a sad. Let's go with that. And then they tell him talking about they, what? What? Like, have you met them? <laughs> what about you don't know them? You see, we're the guys you call radicals, goofballs, knuckleheads. Pretty much the guys. Pretty much we're like the class clowns of the school. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. He's smart. I'm smart. You know, but. He's a little bit smarter. I'm more of a muscle guy. Yeah. More of a Hulk. Yeah. Mini Hulk. Hey, we ain't lying either. This, <gasps> is, this, is, this is serious situation. Yeah. Right? You see, one day they're trying to gay. move a fryer. It's like, oh, 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 come on, my body. You see, see one yeah, day, that out. Uh-huh. one day. There were five of them trying to push a fryer. I got the call. They were like, hey, Ryan, we need you to come in and push the fryer. Okay. Four of us. Four of us could have fucking carried a goddamn fryer. And then 30 minutes, 30 minutes later, Ryan comes. Ryan the what? Dishwasher? Frank the dishwasher? Mm-hmm. Right. Frank the dish. Cut. <laughs> Frank, Frank the, the dishwasher. Dish. There you go. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. You know. Oh, oh. I forgot what I was talking about, guys. I came in and just pushed oh, yeah. one arm. Yeah, that's what I have to do. Yeah, see? He came, he came and, like, just fucking by himself. Just with him. Ah, oh, my right, bitch. I was looking like, what the fuck? <laughs> Before I was just there standing, like, okay. Can you try to call Ryan in first place? But, um, yeah. We don't play. We don't play your little games. I remember that day when your brother's, like, your brother and your and his friend like pulled up on it and we thought it was like they were 12 and the other nigga thought it was uh some random guy just stealing us i was like what the fuck you see i did they did and then this dude just i got stuck he just said what the fuck and just stood there. i had a little gun and then bye bye but and luckily out. if i had it out it would they would have they would have shine ahead i would have lost my brother that day and it was his brother <laughs> But luckily, luckily, out of calmness, he relaxed and he was like, you've got your hat. I, I, I ran so fast, my hat blew off, and I turned around, I said, fuck my hat, y'all can keep that bitch, and I ran. But yeah, I got my hat back. You see, we know you guys have probably stories to tell us, maybe even adventures, maybe even life-changing moments in your life. You see, how him and I became friends, it's, it's quite a funny story, you see. It was at churches when we, we, we did it. At the beginning, it was really, like, nice and smooth. Yeah. So the manager that was there. Yeah, there were some cool ones, like Bernie. But, uh, and, yeah, pretty they much all pretty left, much. and then they took one out of management and put another one that wasn't so nice. And I don't want to sound like a bitch, but it, it was like... It was hell. It was hell. She, she was like a teacher. <laughs> Like, She's like, gonna, you're gonna have to write a report about why you didn't come on time. For real. Like, it was like he was gonna write an essay to the president, man. Three times. He got CSS, Church Suspension System. For real. Yeah. What happened to your good pal Frank? Well, I he quit. There. And then he left. Yeah, you see, I dropped the bomb on them because you see, I quit on my own. I didn't make them. I, well, then they forced me to quit, but I quit on my own. You see, I dropped the bomb. I sped out the truth about how I felt about the manager and how that when the other manager left, it wasn't the same. And pretty much I did this. Bam! It shot the bomb and dip. I dip. I actually didn't even. I just stopped the only thing. Yeah, he, he called off sick. But he wasn't. I, I was, but then like later on, I wasn't no more, and I just didn't go. Like, it's like, it's over. Oop. Yeah, Pretty like, much. Bye-bye. And then I had After to, like, the 57th time. Time they told me that, but that time they were... They were serious. They were serious. Fucking serious. Well, he's here, man. Take it easy, bruh. Well, yeah, pretty much that's it, man. Mm-hmm. So what were you guys, like, talking about? Oh, we never told them what we meant. Oh, yeah, we sure. we told them where, but we didn't tell them. Wow. Okay, so would you like to tell? It was like what, what 
second week working there because you would only work weekend, right? And yeah, anytime exactly. I got there, you left, so we didn't really know each other like that. But then there was one time, one time I got there, and he was um. I was coming in. I think you were behind. I'm talking just away, or I was. No, you were leaving that day. I, was I just got there. No, you were leaving. Oh, I remember that. I got there, and like I think I got there early or got there on time, but you were late. If I got there on time, then you were late and throwing trash away. But it, whatever, but they told me to throw trash away, and so he decided to stay and help. And like <laughs> we had a crush on boxes and shit, and this dude kind of like. Kind of like tripped up. He was not that. Uh, I, he was telling me, trying to teach me how to do it the whole way. <laughs> but he yeah. fell and slipped over the box. And I played off doing push ups. <laughs> and then I looked around. What the fuck just happened? And he's over here doing the push ups on the floor. <laughs> up to hundreds, like one hundred. And then I was like, "What the fuck?" And he's like, "Don't laugh or some shit." I thought he laughed, and he's like, "Yeah." Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> he's like, "You didn't see that." <laughs> And like I was like laughing like shit, and he's like, "Oh fuck!" And then we became best buddies. And after that, yep, that was fun. Nice. Became okay, amigos. It's about to be two years since we became friends. Yeah, like ten months, nine months, a year. Yeah, and like that much. It was pretty long ass fucking time, bro. And the funny thing is, we met a week after my birthday. Mm-hmm. It was a week after your birthday that I started with. I started working there, or that I, um... You started working there. I mean, late, yeah. So, being late and shit, I don't, you didn't smoke. That's another, that's another video. That's another story. That's another story you gotta tell y'all. Till next time, I'm Frank the Dishwasher. Tony Trap God over here, and we'll see you on the next video.